frankfrail.net frank forum. If that's all you do is type that in your address bar, you'll get this. If you type active topics, you'll get a list of what the active topics are. Okay? Just so that you know. It's easier to find out what's been recently talked about. And then if you want, you know, here you got seven days and you can increase that to two weeks, however long you haven't checked it. It's only been out since August, so, you know, no more than six months is going to work. Okay, so that's your, your fast way to find out active topics, what's been talked about recently if you're interested in that. Otherwise, Board Index in the default skin looks like this. Okay, and at 100%, I scheduled it on purpose to have the text be larger because most people I know, they do this kind of cruising, you know, from desktops and they sit pretty far away from the screen. So to have this, the text be too small is, you know, annoying. Um, but you can always, in your browser, I don't know what browser you use, but I know Chrome and Firefox always allow you to shrink the text if you're looking really closely at the screen like from a tablet or you know you're on a laptop or something okay now what I want to show you the change is um, I did a skin change on admin stuff so that now when you click on admin stuff it's in orange if that bothers you please let me know in the comments I had it set on something called latte which was a sort of a brown um, and a tan and that seemed to be a little too hard to read so I thought well we'll pick this okay because it's got it's got it's easier to tell what's going on okay this is what you see if you're not logged in and you haven't joined which you don't have to join okay but if you do join look you can join with a fake name and email and you're not tracked I have no idea where you come from it shows me your IP address, and I have no idea what that means. Okay? If you're a guest, I don't even know that much. You know, GoDaddy doesn't give me, you know, all your information. and only gives me the IP address. And I don't want to know who you really are. I don't want you to know who I really am. Okay? So, we're even. Okay, so back here, admin stuff, when you just click on admin stuff, not the problems and the suggestion subforms, just admin stuff. Now you're going to see orange. If you think that's ugly or that looks bad on your screen, please let me know because I can change this. I got six different skins I can put on this thing. Okay, I just wanted to show because in admin stuff, you can post in here without joining. If you post in admin stuff, anything you post, you won't be able to see. I'm the only one who can see it. So, you know, be careful what you post. And when I say that it's because you know you won't be able to edit it um, and if you don't know that what you posted is what you meant then just make another post I'm the only one who sees it and if you want me to turn it into a public post then I will and I don't care if you you can you know call me names or say how bad I am whatever you want I'm not offended by um, insults it's quite all right to insult me, and I might insult you back, and I might not. I don't know. Depends on if it seems like it's the right thing to do. So I don't think insults are wrong, and I don't care if you insult me. Just give me substance so I know why you're upset. Okay, so that's admin stuff. You can be a guest and put and post in there. Guests and members can post in the main admin forum. That's why it's orange. The orange tells you, hi, you can post in here. Okay, blue says no, only members can post. See, it's blue and orange, so I made one orange. All right, the other one that allows you to post, even if you don't join, is vote on Windows 10, right here. Okay, that used to be latte, which was the brown and tan also, but I changed it. Okay, now I'm not sure I feel good about this. If, if it's too orange, you can maybe do that. Or just tell me in the comments, hey, Brain Out, that's really ugly. I don't like it. And then tell me what color you prefer because I might be able to use it. I might be able to create the color. Okay, so now the thing I want to focus your attention on is the substance of this video. In Frank Forum, the vote on Win 10 subforum 
link to this will be in the video description. Okay? You can post and you can vote in here. And the votes are, are, are getting, you know, see, 372 views. That doesn't mean 372 people because you can have one person viewing it multiple times. You know, I've viewed this like 10 times. Okay, so you don't know how many people are viewing it. But hopefully people have been pretty honest. And these are the options. Will you update to Windows 10 and do you like it? Didn't update. Didn't update, did, did, like, dislike, okay? So that of these first four, there's only one choice to make. And of the second, the last two, there's only one choice to make. So what are the results? 69. So since each person can vote up to twice, presumably 35 people have voted here, but they didn't pick one. One of them didn't pick one because they're not sure what they're going to do. Maybe they didn't update, maybe they did update, but they're not sure they want to you know, or maybe they're not sure whether they like Windows 10. Okay. Now, you can you can hone it down a little more because you got 10 who don't like it and 22 who do. So then that means maybe three are undecided. Okay. Notice I'm rounding it off to seven because somebody's not voting here. All right. And it's not necessarily a total of 70, meaning 35 people. That's just, you know, one of various options. Okay. Then we go, who didn't update? We got four who, who won't, who will. 15 who won't. Okay, that's, tw that's 19 and 11. 19 and 11. 19, 29, 30. And seven. So we got 37 people. Okay, because you can only do one of these. It's only one of them. Okay, so we got 37 people here, but only 32 here, which means that if I'm reading it right, and you can read it differently, I suppose, 37 people have actually voted, but only 32 are willing to say whether they like it or not. So that's five undecided. Okay, and that's why we're getting the total of 69. See, there, there's different ways to read this, but here's the point. There's an overwhelming percentage who don't like it. Now, you know, it's such a small sample. Technically speaking, you have to say it's not statistically significant of the whole. Okay. So then we have to get into, like, reasons. What are your objections? Now, there's up to nine options, so that the actual vote total is going to be nine times higher than the number of people voting, up to nine times higher. There's 99 votes, so up to 11 people voted. Okay? Well, maybe it's more than 11 because you might have only one objection. In my case, I selected all of the above. I don't like all of these things that I listed. So my vote is right in here, all of the above. Okay. So then that leaves 98 others. Up to how many people? It's really not 11, like I said. I'm wrong about that. It's some higher number, maybe. Because maybe not everybody picked nine options. Because I didn't. All right. But you can see... Even so, you can see that, that even though the numbers are not statistically significant, they're random. They're small. I've been, you know, putting notices about this poll only pretty much in ZDNet, which is a pro Windows um, magazine, pro Microsoft magazine. Okay, so I would have expected a larger percentage of, you know, likes than I'm getting here. I wouldn't have expected 22 about the EULA, which is my big concern too, and 21 about the snooping. You know, those are real big topics now. Windows 10 is real big on data slurping. In paragraph 3 of aka.ms slash MSA is a blanket statement by Microsoft that it will police your computer behavior. I don't know why that's not front page news. Nobody in the history of the planet 
has ever made a statement like that or part of a contract like that, ever. The closest parallel you can find in history are states like Hitler's Germany, Stalin's Russia, and Mao's China, where everybody was supposed to inform on everybody else over their behavior. And Microsoft makes that part of its contract to use Windows 10 and everything else that it sells online, like Open Office, I mean, uh, Office 365, Skype, Bing, Cortana, uh, OneDrive. All of its online services now have a Hitlerian EULA, which I did a video on. And, okay, people are kind of noticing that. Because here, out of 99 votes... 40 of them are saying, hey, we don't like this. So I think that's worth noting. You know, you can argue about whether it's statistically significant. Okay? And then, you know, to be fair, what do you like about Windows 10? Because there's a lot to like about it. Okay? Do you like its compatibility? Cortana, you like Continuum, blah, 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 blah. DirectX 12 really isn't available yet, but that's the promise of Windows 10. Okay, so what are the results here? Well, a whole lot of people, and I'm part of the 10, like the compatibility with old software and hardware. The trouble is, is that the released version of Windows is not like the Insider version. The Insider version is, is a lot smoother to install, and you didn't, I didn't have to install it on top of my existing Windows. But the, the public release version, you have to install on top of your existing Windows. And about 50% of the users are reporting that there are glitches when they try to do that. Yeah, that's always been true with Windows. You never, and that's true with Linux too, you never install a new OS on top of an old OS. Unless you want to spend the next three weeks with trouble. Okay, that's how I got my first Windows computer. Some guy was trying to update Windows 98 on top of Windows 95. And he couldn't make it work. Duh. So he threw it out. He threw out his computer in the trash without wiping his hard drive. And a janitor, I'm not kidding you when I say this, I've told this story many times, a janitor named Jesus found the computer, thought of me, and waited two weeks until he saw me in the garage of the, you know, the building and said, you take this. You're supposed to have this. Yeah, he was right. God really meant that. But I didn't know it until it happened. And in three months, I was able to make that computer work, but I had to go to the Office Depot, of course, and buy all the software that was on it so it would be honest and I wouldn't get punished. And then, and then I had to use Norton Utilities to fix it. Okay, well, but see, today you can't use Norton Utilities to fix it. Windows, Microsoft has like engineered its software so that all the good stuff that could be done to fix it, only they control. So, you know, you got a lot of problems now, but they are preserving in some instances if you install it after Windows 10. They are preserving the ability to use the old software. And that was my big like. Other people like, four of them like Cortana. For others, or maybe the same for like Continuum, which is the ability to move your 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 Windows desktop to your laptop, to your tablet, to your phone. Okay, except that the Windows Phone isn't out yet, so you can't really Windows 10 for phone is not out yet, so you don't know if it'll work with your phone. And the guy who's in charge of it is taking his vacation now, so he ain't gonna be here if it doesn't work. Microsoft is imploding, I'm sorry. Five of them like Edge. Why, I don't know, but hey, teach his own. A, a lot of them, six of them, like the, inter, the interface. I don't, but they do. A whole bunch of them, nine, almost as many as this. Like the speed. No, oh, Okay. To me, it's it's it can be fast, and it was at times so slow I couldn't understand why. Start menu. I hate the start menu. I had to use some um, classic shell 10, but they like the start menu as it is. Well, more power to you. And some of them even like Windows Store. Whoa, okay. So you see, this vote is kind of shaping up now. There's only 62 voting that stuff they liked versus the 99 who voted 
you know, well, 62 votes on what they liked versus 99 votes, not necessarily people, on what they disliked. Now, the big thing to notice about this, and again, you can be a guest. Guests can vote and post. You can be a guest. You don't have to join. Okay? I'm thinking open up this form so that nobody has to, you know, join. But there are problems when I do that. So, you know, the closest thing I could do to get you to have the same privilege of anonymity is that you can use a fake name and email to join. You can call yourself Mary McGillicuddy and you can say your email is 123fu.com. I don't check your email. The machine is not going to check it. The board is not going to check it. We don't do email. So you can make up any name you want, and nobody will know who you are. But if that even bothers you, here you can vote and post. You're asked a trick question. Let me show what, the kind of question that they ask. Um, let's post, because I'm not signed in. So I can post. See where it says new topic? See, there we go. I have to answer this question. Phone home. This question is a means of automated form by spam bots. Now, if you saw the movie, you know what to say there. Okay? If you didn't see the movie, see, because robots don't watch movies. Okay? So they don't know that phrase is famous. But you know what to put before the comma, because you saw the movie, or at least you know of the movie. If you don't, you can refresh it. Now, I don't know if it's going to change. Is it going to change the question? It didn't change the question. Okay. So you might not, if you don't know the answer to the question, your post might not go through. Sorry. Then you can post to me an admin forum, but you'll be asked a question there, too. Okay. See, this isn't the right answer. <laughs> okay, but you can fake a username, you can fake your subject, you can write your post, you got all the thingies except the smileys. Smileys are off here. Okay, and you can post. You don't even need this trick question though in order to vote. See, I could just vote. I'm not signed in. So I could just click on this. And I could submit vote, but that's going to skew the count because I've already voted, so I won't click there. But if I just click there, it would count. Okay? And I don't have a trick question. Or, okay, I can post a new topic and say whatever it is, you know, like go to hell, brain out, or whatever. And it'll, it'll log in so long as, so long as I know the answer to this trick question. The trick questions are really tricky. Bots can't figure them out. If you can't figure them out, then what you can do is post in admin stuff. Or just post in the comments to this video and say, brain out, I can't figure it out. And then, you know, I'll give you the, the answer. Okay? Privately, I'll give you the answer. All right? So that's how you can do it. So here we go. Back in computer stuff. Vote on Win 10. The votes are pretty interesting, okay? Now this vote is actually done by Notebook Review, all right? And just because it's interesting, I want you to see how similar their polls are, okay? See, do you like your Windows upgrade? Look at this. Yes, I like it. No, I don't like it. I haven't tried it yet. Okay, you know, people are being snotty. All right, this is more like if you cut out the snotty people, 50-50. All right, the poll was closed on September 3rd, however. Okay, mine is still open, so there's more time to really decide. That's one reason why I set this up is because Notebook is closing its polls. I, you know, I set mine up in August, but okay, and then, then here's the other one. Been a while since the release of Windows 10. What are you doing with it? Now, this is what I was getting at. You, whether you kept it or not, 8.2 kept it. Okay? Then you have to add from 
they kept it. So 8 and 19 is 27. Okay? That's 27% kept it. Okay? Another 20% went backwards. All right, so we got 27 here plus 20. That takes up to 47. All right? And then another 11% went back to 8.1. So look at how close these numbers are. It's almost 50-50. You got 20% who upgraded from both eligible systems and kept. Okay? Then you have 30% who upgraded from eligible symptom, symptoms, systems and went back. Okay? Nobody voted and said, well, I upgraded to 10 and went to Linux, for example. Okay? So, 50% of those who upgraded went backwards, roughly. It's a little over 50%, but let's pretend. All right? And then, um, those who said, oh, now we got another category. Who, who's just going to stay on what you, what you got? You're not going to update. 19% on 7 six seven percent roughly on eight and then uh, sort of a just tang tag okay so those who aren't doing anything this would be their universe of numbers okay of those since this adds up we'll say we'll round it to ten we'll round you to five because I'm rounding you to ten okay so then this is fifteen and let's let's just leave you out. Okay, so this is 15, and then this is 25. So over half of those who have not upgraded yet do not intend to. So it's about 50-50 of those who have upgraded and went back versus those who haven't upgraded and aren't gonna. All right, so that makes this poll, okay, here, a little more meaningful because the, the notebook review polls are bigger, okay, the two notebook review polls are bigger, but they're about the same percentage, which gives some credence, not total, just like it's plausible, that this is kind of representative that the 10 versus the 22 is kind of representative. All right. There's a similarity in the sort of like ratios so far. So that's kind of why I'm making this video. I wanted you to see these poll results. I wanted you to know that you can vote in here without joining. I'm trying to figure out or get people to understand how you can vote here, it would be helpful to know how many people didn't update, did update, how many people who did update rolled back, how many people who didn't update are not gonna. So we can get a better sense of what the numbers are versus all the lies being told to us on both sides of the fence. Their liars at Microsoft are just, you know, unbelievable. Okay, but that doesn't mean they're the only liars. Because there are a whole lot of people who want Microsoft to fail. I'm not among them. I don't like the operating system because of certain particulars. That those particulars, if they change, I'll like the operating system. A whole lot of people just want to see Microsoft fail. I'm not in that category. Am I critical? You bet. You can see why. Okay. Are you critical? What's your vote? Okay, you can go here and say. You can post, you can vote. And if you want, you know, you can vote in the comments to this video, but it would be smarter if you voted in the polls anonymously, and then if you want, say whatever you want in the comments. Okay, so I guess I'm asking you to vote. Thank you very much for your time.